cool silence. Dear Crazy Chris, could you teach me about super volcanoes? Okay, so check this out. I am going to show you how to make your very own volcanic model right at home. And no, I'm not, you know, going to make one of those sh <laughs> models, you know, with the baking soda and <laughs> the vinegar. Because it doesn't even make any sense, because volcanoes do not work on a chemical reaction. Instead, I am going to show you A, a model that is way more accurate, and D, way more delicious. You will need a brand new microwave. Actually, any microwave will do. And all you need to do this wicked cool model is your lunch. Yeah, a pot pie. <laughs> that's it? Like, you, like, like, that's not spectacular. Well, hey, hold on to your corn cob pipe there, pot pie, because I'm about to lay an A-bomb on your gray matter. <laughs> Well, oh yeah, by the way, do not put any punctures, holes, or cracks in your crust. Cracks in your crust? Okay, so check this out. The hot goo. <laughs> okay, so check this out. The hot interior cracks through the crust and flows over the land. Who would have thought you could learn science? right there from your lunch, okay? So what, what exactly is a super volcano? Well, don't look at me. Take a closer look at this. Volcanoes mostly form along the ridges of Earth's crustal plates, which allows lava to escape through those cracks. Also, pressure from magma can crack the crust, creating fissures, allowing lava to rise up through the crust and out onto the surface in areas where the Earth's crust is thinner. Since volcanoes lay down layers of lava, areas of the crust can form pockets between these layers. Sometimes magma rises up into the Earth's crust and gets stuck inside one of these pockets. Trapped magma melts the rock around these pockets, growing the size of the pockets so large that the layers of the crust above either collapse or crack apart. The pressure within the Earth erupts this 1,000 cubic kilometers of magma. These volcanoes are so destructive they can shoot volcanic materials that will travel for thousands of kilometers. If lava flows out for long periods of time and slowly over the surface, this will form a shield volcano. If the lava bursts out of these cracks in short spurts and cools quickly, it'll form the well-known cone volcano. If a volcano erupts both slow flowing and quick bursts of cooling, it will form a shield cone shape known as a stratocone volcano. You know, being able to eat your science project right at home is why science is so wicked.